Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing my best of beauty primers and foundations. As y'all know, I'm going to be splitting up this series just so I can give you some more in depth about each product and really go through all the stuff I've been loving all year long. It's so hard to just pick one or two items for like foundations and primers, especially when there's been so many that have released this year and then so many oldies but goodies that I've used all throughout the year. So anyways, really quick before we get started, if you're new to my channel, then welcome to my channel. Make sure before you leave, you do not forget to subscribe down below. That way you're notified for future videos from me. I post three times a week. So Wednesdays, Fridays, and then mail hauls every single Monday. And then also make sure that you hit the bell notification. That way you're notified as soon as the videos go live. So yeah, I'm really excited. I'm probably going to be rotating like primer foundation, primer foundation, but <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so I want to start by probably my favorite thing that has came out all year long, and this is the Jouer High Coverage Cream Foundation. Had to wipe that front off because it was a little gross, but anyways, this is like my go-to foundation right now. I'm kind of like in between shades, like no one shade completely matches me. I have to like mix and match the shades. But for me, this is just like so, so full coverage and I am all about the full coverage foundation. Like I want to look like I have makeup on. I know that sounds bad, but like when I do my makeup like all out, I don't want to look like I didn't put makeup on. Does that make sense? Plus I have like freckles and stuff and so I like to cover those up. Not like a ton of freckles or anything. But yeah, this one to me is just like so intensely full coverage, but it's super duper thin. A little bit goes a long way. It dries very fast and it's very matte. But I can say for sure, this is like my number one foundation that I own in my collection. I absolutely love it. And I feel like now, like when I go to grab other foundations, they just don't do it for me like this does. That sounds really weird. This one to me is just like holy grail status and I absolutely love it. Also, please make sure throughout this video, comment down below your your favorite primers and foundations that way I just know different ones to check out y'all I swear I think I like pulled my shoulder out on that thumbnail because I was like yeah bad idea oh pain next thing is a primer and this is my second bottle of this this is the Smashbox photo finish primerizer this is like a two-in-one moisturizer and primer. These two are like the combo that I like to wear because this is super hydrating where this is matte, so it's kind of like a good in-between. But this stuff is so amazing. I honestly squirt like a couple pumps on my face to use it as a primer and a moisturizing because it just makes your skin feel like so good. I don't know how to describe it. Like it is a moisturizer and it's a primer, but it just makes your skin feel like you just got hit with like a water bomb. It is amazing. Again, it's a two in one primer and moisturizer. So if you don't like to like use moisturizer, this would be a really good go to because it does both. And then not only that, it has hyaluronic acid um, in it. So it makes your skin kind of like plump. But yeah, this is like one of my favorite discoveries for primers ever because it's just so super moisturizing and I just love the way it makes my skin feel. And again, that is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. Two down and lots more more to go. <laughs> I had a ton of primers and foundations that I just love. Okay, another favorite this year has been the It Cosmetics CC Plus Cream. Oh my gosh, I do not know what took me so long to try this out, but once I finally did, I was hooked. I use this pretty much for most of the entire year, and it says it's a CC cream, but to me, it's way more full coverage than a CC cream. I mean, this packs a punch. So to me, this was one of my very favorite foundations. Now, the foundation line's kind of different because it comes in like light, medium, tan, and I think there's a few in between shades, but it's a very kind of neutral foundation, I feel like. It's not super pink and it's not super yellow. So to me, sometimes I have to like bronze up my face or just bring a little bit more, not color into it, but you guys know what I mean. Like sometimes I wanna be super bronzy, but these shades aren't like super warm. So anyways, I really like it though. I love that it comes in a pump and I've probably went through one or two tubes of this this year. I absolutely love it and I'm glad I discovered this in 2017. I feel like some people have mixed opinions on on it but for me I really love this and it's been one of my favorites okay and the next thing we have is the milk makeup blur stick 
Oh my gosh, can we just talk about how much I've used this? I feel like this year when milk makeup first became like really known, a lot of people thought that YouTubers were being paid like to say good stuff about them because they did really send out a lot of PR packages at the beginning of the year. But oh my goodness, I fell in love with this. It's just such an easy primer. It comes in a stick. You literally just like put it all over your face. It's super fast and super easy. It's something that I loved using day to day, especially when I was in a hurry for work. And it really does like just blur out your pores it's amazing and I love the fact that yeah you just kind of like roll it on your skin to prime your face and I love how innovative milk makeup is and I love their packaging a lot of the products that they have like their highlighters and even like foundations and stuff comes in like a stick like this that you can roll on your skin so I just love it and this is one of my favorite blurring products for this year I have actually quite a few blurring primers. I have been liking to blur my skin this year, <laughs> but this is like my top one. Okay, next for foundation, we have the Too Faced Peach Perfect, and this is the Comfort Matte Foundation. I think I talked about this in one of my favorites, but I didn't do like a full review on this collection. As you can see, I've been getting quite a bit of use out of this. I have a few other shades that I've been kind of rotating, whether I'm self-tan or not self-tan, but I really love this. I love foundations that of course have a pump on it. And this to me, is really a pretty foundation. It is matte, it is pretty full coverage, and I do like the peachy smell. It's not too overpowering, and yeah, it lasts all day long, and again, it does keep me very matte. I have been recently wearing the shade Warm Nude, but I love the Too Faced Sweet Peach collection that they came out with as far as the foundation. I feel like that's one of my favorite parts of the collection, and yeah, this has been one of my favorites this year since it released. There was a point before the Jouer came around that I was wearing this every single day and I just now have been wearing it a lot more and just kind of rotating between the two. But yeah, Too Faced Sweet Peach. Okay, next thing we have, again, you can tell like how much I love these by how much I've used of them. This is the YSL Blur Primer. I like... I love this primer. Initially, I tried it in a sample and I didn't really like it, but then I tried it again this year and I really like to put it just like right in here where my pores are really big. <laughs> I feel like a long time ago I didn't have as big of pores, but anyways, this really does blur it out. It has a little like gold flakes in it, but you can't see those on the skin at all, but it does a really good job of blurring the skin. I feel like this would be in my foundation favorites for the rest of my life, but again, I've used it all year long. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I swear every time that somebody will like snap me or tweet me or DM me and say, hey Danielle, what foundation do you recommend for oily skin or I have acne or I have scarring or I want something really full coverage? Honestly, whatever it is, if you've asked me, you probably know, I'm gonna say Estee Lauder Double Wear. This is just a tried and true and I feel like there's never gonna come a time where this isn't a holy grail for me. There's like, you can't see it because I shook it up, but there's probably like this much left in it. And I have like three or four different shades in my foundation collection because I love it that much. This is the shade Tawny, I believe. But I absolutely love this foundation. To me, and I've always said it, it's just like whatever you put on on top of the foundation just looks so good. Like, it doesn't matter if I'm having a bad makeup day. If I have this on, like whatever I put on top of it normally looks good. <laughs> so I love the Estee Lauder Double Wear. I swear by it. If you haven't tried it, definitely check it out. It is one of my favorites, and I just feel like it's not going anywhere. Okay, next primer is something that I actually tried for the first time this year, and this is the Benefit Professional. I know a lot of you guys are probably like, girl, that's been around, but for me, I never tried it until this year, and I really see what the hype's about. This primer is a really good blur for your face. It has like a kind of tint to it, but you can't really see it underneath your foundation, but I really like this. I have like one of the bigger tubes because this one is like almost completely gone. You can't see it because it has like air in it. But I do really like the Professional. I think it's a really good primer and I feel like it replaced the Makeup Forever smoothing primer. It's kind of like the same concept, but for me, I just like the Benefit one a little bit better because I feel like it's a little bit more smooth if that makes sense like it doesn't ball up as much as sometimes i've had that smooth and primer do for me i feel like i like this one a little bit more than the smoothing primer probably because i haven't used it in a while but yeah i love that this year and i fell in love with it this year as well okay a drugstore favorite i love this year i got on like a dewy kick <laughs> this year with wanting my foundation to just like really make me glow and i love the l'oreal infallible pro glow foundation this is something that i stay true with as far as drugstore i don't use a ton of drugstore stuff 
But to me, this foundation is so pretty. I think it just sits on the skin really well and it gives me that really healthy glow. It is by far my number one drugstore foundation and really like the only drugstore foundation I really use. But yeah, the L'Oreal Pro Glow foundation has been a favorite of mine and it's really inexpensive too. Well, it's drugstore, but yeah. <laughs> Y'all, I'm sorry. I just like had so many picks that I wanted to go through. <laughs> okay. Next primer, this was something that I really like. I feel like people have mixed reviews on it, but this is the Urban Decay D-Slick Complexion Primer. Now you cannot put a ton of this or it will like kind of cake up. But to me, this primer is like the ultimate blur. I mean, you put it on your face and it just like sucks all your pores away. I don't know what it is, but I really do like this. I let my boss borrow it, so I haven't used it in a little bit, but when I was using it, I was using it every single day, and I really love the way my foundation looked with it, and again, this is the D-Slick Complexion Primer by Urban Decay. I haven't tried a lot of their primers, so let me know like what you guys like from their line. Okay, the very last foundation, I got hooked on this this year. This is the Smashbox Studio Skin Shaping Foundation. It's called the Shaping Foundation because one end, you actually have a a contour stick and then the other ends a foundation but I absolutely love this to me it was just so fast and easy for work where I could just like throw it on really fast very full coverage and it was very hydrating I wore this a lot this summer and yeah I had to talk about it in my favorites my sweet friend Gigi sent me this to try out and yeah I absolutely fell in love with it and you guys that is going to complete my best primers and foundations of 2017. Again, let me know in the comments down below what your favorites were. I would love to hear them. That way I know what to check out for 2018. And as always, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.